would ask everybody to attack the gunman because he can only shoot one of us at a time. That way we don't all wind up dead. <laughs> I would not just stand there and let him shoot me. I would say, hey guys, everybody attack him. He may shoot me, but he can't get us all. All right, ladies and gentlemen, of course, uh, uh, that's uh, Dr. Carson's uh, response uh, when asked uh, what he would have done in a similar situation if he was involved, God forbid, in a mass shooting. And, uh, of course, the media piling on. Joining us now is Reverend Jesse Lee Peterson, president of Bond, the Brotherhood Organization of a New Destiny. Hello, Reverend. How you doing, Steve? Thanks for having me on. Always my pleasure. So, you know, to me, every time the media pounces on Ben Carson, whether it's over his remarks on Muslims, whether it's his own remarks on the shooting, or whatever his remarks, uh, his poll numbers go up. Absolutely. This is good for Dr. Carson because more and more people are learning about him, and especially, Steve, in the black community because a lot of blacks were not aware of Steve, I mean, of Dr. Carson, but now they are becoming aware of him. And I'm glad to hear the doctor out there speaking the truth. He's not apologizing for the truth. I think it's healthy, and I think it's good. Right on to him. All right. Now, let, let me let me uh, shift gears and in, in, to another aspect of the shooting. Uh, you know, we've had Ben Carson on this show uh, all week. He'll be on again tomorrow. And uh, he said that if the uh, if the shooter in Oregon had targeted Muslims and said, are you Muslim? And then shot them in the head the way he uh, targeted Christians by asking them and then shooting them in the head. Uh, the quote was President Obama would have had a seizure <laughs> to, to this moment, Reverend. President Obama has not said boo about the fact that these people were targeted because they were Christians. That's right. And that's amazing to me. I don't know of one time when Obama has defended Christians, but I can name countless of times when he defend, uh, defended the Muslims. Uh, I was surprised that when he had held that last press conference about the shooting in Roseburg, there was not one mention about the Christian, even though the news was already out that this man, that man targeted Christians by asking them, if you are a Christian, if they said yes, he shot them in the head. If they didn't respond at all or said no, he, did, he shot them in the leg. And yet Barack Obama has not said anything about it. And I've been saying for the last six and a half years or so that Barack Obama is not a Christian, that Barack Obama hate Christians, and the proof is in the pudding now. If America cannot see it for themselves at this point, I don't know what else it's going to take. Now, you know, and, and, and another aspect, tomorrow he's going to uh, the city where the shootings took place. There are a lot of people. Uh, including relatives of the victims and one victim who wants nothing to do with President Obama because Obama, as you well know, came out in that statement while the bodies were still in the school and said, you're darn right I'm politicizing this. Uh, yet, you know, it's interesting, isn't it, Reverend? I know you, you, you're all about this. Uh, every single day, every weekend especially, whether it's Chicago, New York, Washington, D.C., uh, we have children being slaughtered by thugs with guns and this administration this president says nothing about that but it's only when there's a situation like we had in oregon uh at the community college that they come out of the woodwork you know the democrats are about politics and that include barack obama on every issue that they deal with it's about politics the only thing that these people think of is how to get votes how to get more people hooked on government so that they can use them. It's about politics, politics, politics. And that's what we see in happening here with Barack Obama. Barack Obama is hell-bent before leaving office to take away our rights to bear arms. And he's going to do it no matter what. Even though these people are saying to him, we don't want you here. We don't want to be a part of your politics. Leave us alone. Let us mourn the death of our loved ones. Let us have the funerals and, funerals and get past this. He doesn't care at all. This is an opportunity for him to promote or, or go against the Second Amendment, and he's going to take it come hell or high water, and never mind what the people say. If Obama cared about Americans and quote-unquote gun violence, he would have already moved back to Chicago because and that is his hometown it is out of control there and they have some of the strictest laws that you could possibly have when it comes to gun and yet violence by guns are right. out of control absolutely reverend great to talk to you sir always appreciate it thank you very much
And All right, uh, buddy. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. For having me. Now, coming up next, folks, give me five. But first, I want you to remember to tune in tomorrow night to this very program at 7 p.m. We're Eastern Time. We're counting and continuing our sit-down interview with Dr. Ben Carson, who'll be joining us to discuss Obamacare and how its policies are destroying small businesses, as well as his new book, A More Perfect Union. At 7 and 10 p.m. Eastern Time on the Steve Malzberg Show tomorrow only on Newsmax TV. And folks, we want to hear from you. Donald Trump and Ben Carson are neck and neck in the polls. Who is your 2016 pick on the GOP side? Vote now. Go to NewsmaxPolls.com. That's NewsmaxPolls.com.